welcome to all Caribbean entrepreneurs. If you've been ready and waiting to take your business digital and get paid online while you sip something strong on the beach, this podcast is for you. We'll hear from the Caribbean's finest entrepreneurs on topics like e-commerce, business development, brand building, social media, their wins and failures. This is the only place in the region helping you navigate the digital age from the Caribbean's perspective. This is Digipreneur FM. And now, let's give it up for the Digiboss himself, Mr. Karan Rose. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who has been tuning in to the Digipreneur FM podcast. It is your boy, Mr. Karan Rose. DJ, DJ, cut the beat, DJ. Fade us all the way out. <laughs> Beautiful people of the Digipreneur FM family. Happy, happy May. It has been a while and I have missed you guys and gals dearly, 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 dearly. <laughs> Some of you have been reaching out asking, yo, where is the podcast? Where is the podcast? And you know, I mean, we have been active on every other platform. We've been active, you know, blogging. We we have the, the Digipreneur column on the Newsday up and running at full speed. We're in the business Newsday every Thursdays and, you know, up on up on the on the, the Newsday website. You know, we have been on a few episodes of the Samantha Best Show over on Freedom 106, and we got some news coming soon very soon about that <laughs> we've also been you know youtube and tiktok in so i've been i've been active on every other platform but i haven't been able to get on and do a podcast and this isn't a full this is not a full podcast episode this isn't one of our typical podcast episodes you know we were talking about you know e-commerce marketing business development and stuff like that i just wanted to jump on here and give you guys an update as to what's been going on um and we're going to be getting back to our regular schedule program this week for sure for sure for sure so i haven't been able to do a podcast since the beginning of april right beginning of april because i moved folks i moved and where i moved to we're doing some heavy heavy renovation so i have not been able to pull my equipment out of storage up until this weekend so this weekend i'm finally starting to you know pull some pieces out to so like i could start to do some work i personally kind of feel like i've been on a semi vacation because i haven't been able to do a lot of the things that you know i do uh for my business um However, I mean, not, not that I haven't been able to do it, but I've just been focused on the move, the renovations and getting those things under under race. I haven't really been focused too much on on work and and doing that stuff. Right. So. With the podcast, the issue really has been, again, it's a whole, you know, setup that I have and that's been in storage. So I have not been able to pull it out. And then even this weekend, even this weekend, pulling it out, um, I'm still, you know, again, putting pieces together back to the studio and I still have to, you know, go out and I have to treat the room to better the sound quality because as of right now, like I'm listening to it and again, I'm kind of just testing to see where I'm at with the quality. I am hearing a bit of an echo. It does still sound like I'm in a hollow place. So I have a, I have a lot of work to do as to, you know, getting it back to, to where I was, but you know what? That's okay. Because at the end of the day, done is better than perfect and i will always tell everybody you know especially when you're starting out start where you are start with the, with what you have and if that's a phone and an earpiece you know go forth and you know just use that to get it out there you know so the reason the podcast just i haven't been able to do it over the past couple of weeks is just because i've moved and i'm waiting to get you know i'm waiting to f like fully move into the space so i finally did the renovations for the office um so i've been able to pull that stuff out and now the next step is to again like i said you know get all the rest of the equipment out start to treat the room so i can get the better sound quality you know kill off the echo and <laughs> hopefully not hopefully 
um, by today or tomorrow, the AC has got to get put in because let me tell you, while I was, you know, trying out the microphone and stuff like that today, I had the fan on, right? And I'm hearing the, like, I turn the mic on, I'm hearing the fan, I'm like, oh my God, I can't even do it with the fan because it just sounds like, you know, it sounds like running water or wind just beating against the mic because the fan has to be on the highest, otherwise I'm melted. So because it sounded so bad, because it's distorting the sound quality, I turned the fan off and I'm like, Jesus, you're just here, you're talking, the lights are on, the equipment is on, and you're just baking in this heat. <laughs> so there's just no way, there's no way I'd be able to get through a, a, you know, a 30-minute or a 50-minute episode without leaving the space sweating buckets. <laughs> You know, so, I mean, it's all good. Again, I just really wanted to just jump on, uh, let the podcast family know that that's the reason for the break. I've moved. I'm renovating. You know, I have not abandoned you. We have not abandoned the podcast. We are here. I have a lot of, you know, exciting things happening, you know, for the podcast. We're going to be bringing back the live streams um, just now. Within the next couple of weeks, we're going to start back to interviewing our guests. I mean, as much as I love the solo shows, I love to interview uh, the people that are within our space, that are within this digital entrepreneurship space, marketing, e-commerce, business development, because ultimately, I want these people to come and help the entire community, right? We've built this platform. People want to learn how to better build their businesses, how to better market their businesses and learn from the experts and, you know, hear what they have to say too. You don't just want to hear my voice, right? So I'm really excited to get back into the interviewing, bringing back the guests and having a lot of fun with that. Um, if you guys hear the rooster in the background, I haven't named him as yet, but he's literally, you know, he's, he's not too far away from my window so you know he'll be checking in from time to time if you guys have you know any rooster names you know feel free to dm me and let me know what you guys have in mind you know because you might hear him from time to time so we got we just got to name got to name him you know that's the beauty of living in the caribbean you never know what type of outside guests you know will will check in and let themselves be known (laughs) oh man so i don't want to make this too long right i don't want to make this too long We have, I mean, reach out to me on any social media platform. So we're on Instagram heavy. Um, I've been TikToking a lot, um, you know, really figuring out the platform and figuring out the type of content that, you know, I want to do. And again, if you have not been, you know, on TikTok for business purposes, check it out because it's, it's really interesting. Once you find your once you find your, you know, your creative mojo on the platform, it can be very rewarding. The last episode that I did the beginning of April was when we had hit uh, the 10K mark, right? And now we're at, uh, I think, 12.5. Uh, yeah, just a few weeks later, right? So the platform really does offer a lot of growth and not just in terms of, you know, the vanity metrics, the engagement is through the roof, the 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 people coming into the sales pipeline and the people coming in to, you know, do business or, you know, have found me via TikTok and have reached out, you know, to do work and to do business. Again, that is there. Um, so definitely check out that platform if you have not you know, if you have been thinking about TikTok, but you've still been unsure whether or not it's for you, definitely check it out. And also LinkedIn, you know, we're, we're, we're always heavy on LinkedIn. LinkedIn, to, I'll tell you from now, LinkedIn has been, has been from day one, that is the number one platform that I use to get business. I, that platform has made me more money than any other platform and also more connections than any other platform. And we're going to have an episode about that, you know, specifically. I might even have a guest about that as well. You know, so check us out over there. The Digipreneur column, like I said, every single Thursday in the Business Newsday, you could check us out in the Newsday papers or you could read the articles on their website. And I usually reshare those articles onto my social media platforms as well. So you could check those. You could check those out. And boy, oh boy, I'm just I'm just waiting. There's 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 one piece of news I want to drop so bad. And it's like 99 percent done. But I'm just waiting for that. Huh. 
I'm just waiting for that one percent. I'm just waiting for them to drop it so that I could drop it and talk about it. But we have something adding to the lineup, right? I'm always talking about omnipresence, being omnipresent across multiple channels. That way, you know, you're not saturated. You're not just, you know, putting all your eggs in one basket, but you have multiple channels to play with. So, you know, we have the blog, we have the website, we have the YouTube channel, we have the live streams, we have, you know, social media, we have the short form content, we have newspaper, right? And there's, there's just there's something else that's being added. And I, I can't wait to dive into the details. I'm just waiting for them to put it out. And once they put it out, you know, we're going to talk about it. And that's going to be, it's going to be, listen, it's going to be huge. The second half of 2022 is going to be massive. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited because for me, it's it's not even just about, you know, what what I'm accomplishing, you know, on a, on a personal level. It's what the second half of the year is going to allow me to do to help build other people and to help create spaces for other people. And for too long, we have, you know, if you, if you had any, if you did anything, if you did anything business, business related, you had to go to, you know, the typical media houses that we have here and you're having conversations with people who are not in your space. So they can't really, you know, bring out the right conversation from you. And that's always been, you know, one of the biggest cries of, of, of any business, right? You have something or you want to be featured and just a conversation. It, it, it has to be general because, you know, the news reporter, they're not in your space, right? And they can't, you know, really have that conversation, you know, that that needs to be had about your particular business or the problem you are solving within the types of businesses that we speak about, you know, on Digipreneur FM. So the second half of the year is going to be crazy again, not just for me, but, you know, for what is about to happen and the platforms that are going to be created and the spaces that we're going to be creating. And I'm really excited because it's going to give me opportunities to, you know, finally have conversations with some amazing people that are doing some amazing things and the reason why i haven't engaged so there's a lot of people that i see doing some amazing stuff and the only reason i haven't engaged them to have conversations publicly as yet is because i i know i have things in the works and i'm constantly because i have so many things at my disposal at this point I'm always thinking of where is the best place to have this conversation. And there are some channels where I, I'm saving people for. And as, you know, these channels come out and as they have been, you know, part of the Digipreneur brand, you know, I can start to now engage people on these conversations. So anyways, that's, that's digressing, and I'm, I'm sounding a little bit too cryptic, and I'm rambling at this point, right? <laughs> I'm just excited for the second half of the year, what we're going to be creating. It's going to be amazing. So, again, just wanted to just let you guys know, the Digipreneur FM podcast, we haven't gone anywhere. I'm literally, you know, I'm excited to get back into it. I'm, I've, I've moved um, not a hundred percent renovations are still going on. A lot of renovations are still happening. So, you know, I'm going to be finding times to just jump in, do my episodes. And again, I'll be, I'll, I'll, I'm going to take you guys on the journey as to, you know, what's happening and what we're creating and what's really going on, but follow me over on social media. So Karen Rose, if you're on my Instagram, I, I showcase, you know, my daily life on Instagram stories and whatnot. Again, follow me on TikTok. We're always, you know, engaging uh, with tips, tricks, strategies, and just, again, the live, showcasing the day-to-day -day life of a digital entrepreneur in Trinidad and Tobago. So you guys can check that out over on TikTok. And, you know, we have the YouTube channel. Again, the YouTube channel is going to be a main stage for us because we're going to have, you know, all of our live all of our lives, all of our live conversations where we interview guests are always going to be on the YouTube channel, so check that out. And then don't forget, KarenRose.com to stay abreast in all things building your digital presence and monetizing. And then there is the Digipreneur.fm website. You can subscribe to the email list or the notification list to never miss an episode of the podcast. I'm going to leave it right here. 
Just giving you guys an update. We're going to be resuming back the podcast this week. I'm just waiting for the AC to get installed. And once the AC gets installed, whether I have all the rest of the of the sound equipment to, to better give you guys the best possible quality, that's going to be secondary. I just need AC because I cannot get through. I, it's 50 minutes in. I'm sweating because I can't turn the fan on because the, it's just going to kill the sound quality very, very badly and then you guys will not be able to listen to it right so once the ac gets installed today or tomorrow man it's on and popping all right in the meantime between time hit me up on social media and let's have that conversation let's chat all right that's it from me folks take care you've been listening to the digiboss karan rose We hope your notepad was filled after this episode. Make sure to like, rate, and review the show. The learning doesn't stop, folks. And to make sure you don't miss any gems from the Digiboss, go over and follow him on all social media platforms at Karan Rose. Folks, don't just sit there with a notepad. We need you to implement at least one thing into your business before the next episode. That's the only way your business levels up. Thanks for listening to Digipreneur FM. Now, Go be great.